So today we are solving a system of equations by elimination. Now in a previous video I showed you that sometimes we can just simply add the two equations together and eliminate one of the variables. Now today this situation is not like that. Notice we've got 8x plus 3y equals 52 8x minus 5y equals 20. And if I add these together, I'll have 16x's and negative 2y's, and that doesn't eliminate any of my variables. However, if you look here, notice I have the exact same number of x's. I have 8x's on the top and 8x's on the bottom. So if I want to eliminate any of the variables here, I can easily eliminate the x's by simply subtracting the equations. All right, so I could subtract both equations and eliminate my x's, but I'm going to show you a different way. Instead of subtracting, because sometimes negatives and subtracting gets a little confusing. You can see over here we've got some negatives. Instead, I'm going to do something. I'm going to take one of these equations and multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. All right, so if I do that, this second equation becomes negative 1 times 8x, which is negative 8x. Negative 1 times negative 5y becomes positive 5y. Drop down my equals. And on the other side, 20 times negative 1 becomes negative 20. Now, if you notice, if I use this equation and the first one, which was 8x plus 3y equals 52, now we have a situation like last time, where I can actually add the two equations together and eliminate my x's. Now, could you have just subtracted the two equations and done the same thing? Yeah, but I kind of like this idea of multiplying one by negative one and adding, because subtracting negative numbers gets a little confusing and kids mess, mess that up a lot. So this way is a little more foolproof, all right? So watch what happens when I add them. Negative 8x's plus 8x's leave me with no x's. They are eliminated. That's why we call this the elimination method. 5y plus 3y equals 8y. Drop down my equal sign. Negative 20 plus 52 equals positive 32. And look, now I can easily solve for y. All I have to do is divide both sides by 8. I end up getting y equals 4. All right. So, like I said before, I could have subtracted the equations and got the same exact thing, but because of the negatives involved with subtracting, things get a little confusing, I just find it much easier to just multiply the whole both sides of the equation by negative 1 and then just adding them because most people are really good at adding whether it be positive or negative numbers. All right, so we got y. Now we still got to find x. So to find x, we're going to take our y value and put it back into the original problem. And you can choose which one you want to use. They're going to get you the same answer either way. I'm going to choose the one with all positive numbers. So I've got 8x plus 3 times, instead of 3 times y, 3 times 4 equals 52. All right, so this gets me 8x plus 12 equals 52. And if I solve this little algebra equation, I'll get my x. Minus 12 on both sides. I end up getting 8x equals 40. Divide both sides by 8. I end up getting x equals 5. And now I know my solution. x is 5. y is 4. There it is. All right, so we do have to solve two little algebra equations, but neither of them are particularly difficult. All right, uh, let's do one more example. Uh, number two, here we go. 5x plus 7y equals negative 24. Negative 9x plus 70, 7y equals 102. Notice I can't add the two equations together because it won't eliminate any, but I do have the exact same number of y's this time. So. What I'm going to do, just like last time, I'm going to multiply both sides of one of them by negative 1. And it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, this one has a negative. That one has a negative. Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's do the top one since we did the bottom one last time. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. All right. When I do that, this becomes negative 1 times 5x, negative 5x. Negative 1 times positive 7y, negative 7y. Drop down my equals, and on the other side, negative 24 times negative 1 is positive 24. All right, now let me drop down my other equation. I'm not going to change the other equation because it's already in the form I want it to be. Notice, 
I've got negative 7y and positive 7y. And since they have opposite signs and they're the exact same number, by adding them together, I can eliminate all the y's. Negative 5x's plus negative 9x's is negative 14x's. Negative 7y plus 7y, nothing, zero, no y's. Equals drops down, and 24 plus 102 is 126. And again, I've completely eliminated one of the variables, and now I can easily solve for x. All right, so to solve for x, I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 14. When I do that, I get x equals, and this is negative nine. All right, halfway there, we still need to get uh, y though. And just like last time, I could put negative nine in for x and I can choose which equation I'm going to pick. Eh, I'll pick the second one. So it's gonna be negative nine times whatever x is, and we just found out x is also negative nine, so it's negative nine, oops, times negative nine plus seven y, we still don't know what y is, equals 102. And if I simplify this, negative times negative is a positive, so this is positive 81 equals seven y, uh, plus seven y equals 102. Now if I solve this equation, I can figure out what y is. So subtract 81 on both sides, seven y equals 21, divide both sides by seven, I just found y, three. So my solution here is x is negative nine, y is three. There it is, okay? So the key here is when you have the exact same number of x's or y's in the original problem, like we do here and here, here and here, we can't just add the two equations to eliminate a variable, but if you multiply both sides of one of those equations by negative one, then we'll be in a situation where we'll have the same number of x's but one positive and one negative. Their coefficients are opposites. In that case, now we can add the two equations to eliminate a variable and then solve it easily. All right, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.